This Week in Drug War History, June 1, 1996. Noted actor and hemp activist Woody Harrelson was arrested and charged with cultivation of less than five marijuana plants after he planted four industrial hemp seeds in full view of Lee County Sheriff William Kilburn in Lexington, Kentucky. June 3, 1876. At the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia, America's first 100-year birthday bash, fairgoers visit the Turkish Hashish Exposition and toke up in order to enhance their fair experience. June 8, 1993. William F. Buckley in an interview said, The amount of money and of legal energy being given to prosecute hundreds of thousands of Americans who are caught with a few ounces of marijuana in their genes simply makes no sense. The kindest way to put it. A sterner way to put it is that it is an outrage and imposition on basic civil liberties and on the reasonable expenditures of social energy. June 11, 2001. The U.S. Supreme Court rules that the use by the police of a thermal imaging device to detect patterns of heat coming from a private home is a search that requires a warrant. June 13, 1994. The Rand Corporation releases a study finding that drug treatment is seven times more cost-effective than law enforcement for reducing cocaine use. June 14, 2000. Best-selling author, cancer and AIDS patient, and high-profile medical marijuana activist Peter McWilliams is found dead in his Los Angeles, California home. Barred by a federal court order from using marijuana to counteract the extreme nausea caused by his AIDS drugs, McWilliams choked to death on his own vomit slumped on the bathroom floor. His federal prosecutors said they were saddened by his death. June 15, 1998. Random House publishes Mike Gray's Drug Crazy, How We Got Into This Mess, and How We Can Get Out. This is Steve Nolan for the Drug Truth Network.